More than a year after this deadly street racing crash here in Jacksonville, this woman who survived and was an innocent victim is sharing with News 4 Jax how the wreck has changed her life forever. The two street racers are now facing vehicular homicide and other charges. We covered that wreck when it happened in July of 2021 on Edgewood Avenue. News for Jacks reporter Joe McLean was there that day, and he has now spoken exclusively with the woman who lost her mother and her unborn twins. Joe. Yeah, just an unthinkable tragedy for Chastine Dominguez. She was 17 at the time of the crash that happened right uh, over here. Uh, and she didn't regain consciousness or her full memory until several days and only then learning all she had lost. Now, I do want to warn our viewers that some of these images that you're going to see may be disturbing. Here on Edgewood Avenue near Glen Street is where Chastine Dominguez's life would change forever. On July 16th, 2021, she and her mother, 48-year-old Pamela Stone, were just heading around the corner for a quick errand. But just before noon, their car was hit at high speed by a silver Dodge Charger driven by Kyrie Hill, who investigators later learned had been street racing against Ethan Rainey. Sky 4 video shows where that Charger landed after flipping over onto the side of the road a year and a half later. I've never seen these people a day in my life. Dominguez shared her story with News for Jax, recounting the first moments she can remember after the devastating crash. I woke up in the hospital saying, where is my mother? Because my mother's on my bedside no matter how many times I go to the hospital. And for her not to be on my bedside that day was like heart dropping. It was you know, painful. I couldn't take it. So Dominguez awoke to the news that her mother didn't survive the crash. Neither did her unborn twins. The crash left the now 19 year old with scars on her face and arms, both physical and emotional scars, which will never fully heal. I was hurt. I was upset. I was angry at the world. If they wasn't racing, my mama would still be here. Both Hill and Rainey are now charged with vehicular homicide, reckless driving and racing. They've been released on bond as they await their criminal proceedings. I asked Dominguez, what would you tell these two men? I would first ask for an apology because, I mean, apology couldn't do anything. You know, just be cautious of people's lives because people's lives is too short. People die, you know, left and right, and we don't. We don't need that. That's a warning echoed by the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, which has been cracking down on street racing in the months since. The News for Jack's I team has been extensively reporting on it. Roughly one year after Dominguez's crash, JSO announced it had made 36 arrests and written more than 600 citations connected to street racing in Jacksonville. And Dominguez now has a four-month-old son, and she says she frequently visits this spot where sh the crash happened so she can reflect and remember. Meanwhile, uh, Hill and Rainey are still working their way through the criminal process. A trial date has not yet been set for them. Reporting live, I'm Joe McLean, Channel 4, the local station.